at the beginning of this year, this woman called Madame Yvonne Ike, who is the head of Sub-Saharan Africa at the Bank of America, told Ghana that this is the right time for Ghana to reap the full potential of its waste by recycling them and its sun energy. But I think in terms of what we need to do differently, we need to actualize the regional approach to solving the world's problems today from Africa, for Africa and for the world. So when I look at Ghana and I see the resources that Ghana has, and there's some priorities that the country has in terms of being a, a regional hub for recycling, for really fueling the secular economy, and a regional hub for, 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 for uh, so a regional hub also for energy in terms of EV solar charging. There's no reason why Ghana cannot, given the resources it has, like lithium, like the secure and, and more uh, user-friendly environment for attracting foreign investment for projects and for manufacturing. Why they, there's, there's no reason why that shouldn't be a priority to have solar charged EV uh, uh, stations manufactured out of Ghana. In a recent video of ours, we also talk about how Ghana sees becoming Africa's largest exporter of electricity. So, they are now in the race to harness renewable energy. In fact, the country is stepping up its game. With ambitious goals and significant investments, the country is aiming to transform its energy landscape and lead the way in sustainable development. The cornerstone of this transformation is a $17 million solar rooftop project at the Free Zone Enclave in Tema. They recently inaugurated it and this project is Africa's largest solar rooftop installation, boosting a capacity of 16.8 megawatts at its peak. This project is being developed by a company called LMI Holdings Limited and it is a significant step towards Ghana's renewable energy target. We are ushering in a new era of sustainable energy backed by innovative progress. So it is with immense pride and great pleasure that I stand before you to celebrate the launch of the world's second biggest single roof solar project right here in our country, Ghana. And they've also taken a very important step towards ensuring that we harness our abundant solar resources. The sun is always with us in Africa. Together, we are not just constructing solar farms, we are constructing a sustainable future for our businesses. And the country plans to increase its renewable energy capacity from 42.5 megawatts in 2015 to an impressive 1,363 megawatts by 2030, with 1,094 megawatts coming from grid connected systems. This and other renewable projects are going to help Ghana to generate over 3,000 megawatts, so they are taking substantial steps towards their goal of net zero emission by 20. Ghana's vision includes not just this solar rooftop project but also plans to add nearly 1,200 megawatts of renewable energy through various projects by LMI Holdings. This map right here is the northern part of Ghana and according to experts, the northern part of Ghana has a higher potential for solar energy generation due to its sunlight intensity, clear skies and its large open spaces. So, the government is planning to distribute 2,000 megawatts of solar power mainly across the northern part of the country. Collaboration is key here, so the government is working closely with the Volta River Authority, Bui Power Authority and the Great Company of Ghana to ensure these projects come to fruition. Project sites have been identified and visibility studies are underway. A great impact assessment is being conducted to ensure seamless integration of these renewable sources into the national grid. This initiative is being supported by the private sector and it is a crucial for the successful implementation of solar and wind projects. Government can make regulation 
easier. Government can provide some funding, but the biggest funding can must by all means come from the private sector. And this project signals a lead and tells the private sector the role that you have to play to support government in achieving the vision of 10% renewable energy sources in our mix by 2030. The solar rooftop project is expected to significantly reduce Ghana's emissions by approximately 10,000 tons of CO2 equivalent annually. So, what does this mean for the beautiful country, Ghana? Well, the benefits are manifold. Increased renewable energy capacity will reduce reliance on fossil fuel, cut greenhouse gas emissions, and create jobs. The Tema project alone is part of a broader 30 million clean power and water investment that supports jobs creation and promotes greener, more sustainable industrial development. By 2030, Ghana aims to have 10% of its energy mix come from renewable sources. And this is not just about meeting targets, but about creating a sustainable future for the nation. I should also talk about the impact that this project has on industry. For someone who is coming from the Ministry of Trade and Industry, I, more than anyone, understand the impact of cost of power in industry, uh, in being competitive in manufacturing and in production. What you have done in helping to contribute to power distribution here in this enclave, and of course, uh, because solar over time has reduced um, cost in the mix, you are helping to power industry and you're helping industry to also meet their green credentials, something that puts them in the right step globally in helping to attract more investment into their businesses. And of course, you're also helping to impact positively cost of production for these businesses, something that dovetails directly into job creation and helping to improve the standard of living of our people. And government is equally proud of you for that achievement. With the combined effort of the government, private sector and international partners, Ghana is on its way to a greener and more prosperous future. Ghana's renewable energy journey is a testament to what can be achieved with vision, collaboration and commitment. As the nation steps toward its goals, it sets another inspiring example for others to follow. And that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video, Macrao.